This video illustrates the procedure of tuning and testing of a synchronous detector module on the chassis of a vintage 5-valve tube radio. Original detector and automatic gain control circuitry is removed. Instead, the detector is connected to the second intermediate frequency transformer. The output from the detector through this red wire is fed to the volume control. Automatic gain control voltage is connected to where it normally goes. The power supply, 6.3 volts AC for the detector, is taken from the mains transformer. The detector itself is attached to the chassis, which gives a good ground earth contact. To test uh, and tune the detector, first we need to turn the radio on. On a test jig two LEDs will light up. This test jig in fact consists of the indicate indicator LEDs, switches to change the mode of operation, strings, uh, signal strings monitoring, and the potentiometer to test the voltage control oscillator in the SSB mode. First, the detector should be set in AM mode, tuned to some free of stations part of the band, on the short waves for example, and the intermediate frequency transformer must be tuned for maximum noise using a non-magnetic screwdriver or even a stick. It's important to tune the second IF transformer because the capacitance of the detector module is smaller than the capacitor of the original circuit removed. After this is done, the detector should be switched into SSB mode. And then by carefully adjusting the trim capacitor C41. We need to get the noise back. Not only that, but the noise shall be the most dense, low-pitched, pinky, like this. That means that the voltage control oscillator is tuned approximately in the middle of the bandwidth of the uh, intermediate frequency am amplifier. The detector mo modules come pre-tuned to around 455 kHz, but since the actual frequency can be different, it's recommended to do this tuning. This pretty much finishes the tune-up and the detector is ready for operation. Let us switch it to the synchronous mode and tuning to medium waves we can start enjoying listening. When the green LED lights up that means that the detector is in the synchronous mode. When you tune the radio, one station disappears and then the other appears. The detector jumps from one to another. Only one station is received clearly. The others reduced to birds monkey cheddar and birds twitter. The detector is tracking, tuning the radio. Whenever the PLL loses the, the carrier, the detector goes into a search mode and tries to find the new uh, frequency to lock on. Once locked, it automatically switches from AM detector to the product detector. Operation of the radio, therefore, is not different from the conventional. 
and there are no annoying whistles as such. You can check the operation of automatic gain control. No matter how weak or strong the signal is, the audible level is almost always the same. The automatic gain control is extremely efficient. This is an example how the synchronous detector is able to pick up a weak station with the sidebands of the strong one covering it. In the standard amplitude mode, the interfering station is always sweeps over the station of interest. But if we go back to synchronous mode, we can hear something. Therefore, the selectivity and um, interference immunity of the radio greatly improves.